Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Body, Wealth, and Wellbeing. Hi, at Kathis, how you doing? Um, I wanted to do this. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do this this periscope because I wanted to talk about having a healthy access uh, to a healthy lifestyle. Um, as many of you know, some of you know, some of you may not. Um, I am, of course, a fitness professional. I love working out. I love teaching people about getting fit and healthy. But in my everyday job, I'm actually a public health professional. And <clears throat> my, I have a master's degree in public health. I've spent over 10 years working in this industry as a consultant um, in various consulting firms, as well as social work, as well as uh, research and implementation and evaluation and uh, <clears throat> worked on a number of wonderful research projects but of course the ones that I have the most passion for is the projects dealing with um, access to healthy food, nutrition, uh, physical activity, um, reducing obesity in a community, um, of course helping people, individuals get healthier which of course led to me getting more into fitness. But I was thinking today you know whenever I coach someone <clears throat> any of my clients in my fitness business on creating a healthy lifestyle, the one thing that I like to find out from them is their access. Do they have access to healthy food? Um, <clears throat> you know, do they have grocery stores in their neighborhoods that sell healthy food? Do they have um, convenience stores that, that might sell fruit? So that if they just happen to get gas and they want to go into a convenience store and a gas station, could they get fruit versus some sugary snack? That's important to know when you're coaching people and trying to help them create a healthy lifestyle plan. You have to know their environment because I put on my public health hat whenever I work with a client in fitness because the same principles that I use in public health to work with my corporate clients, I use in fitness to help with my individual clients. And the idea is that you work with someone with where they are and what they have. If you're working with someone and you don't know if they have a grocery store in their neighborhood, then how do you know if they're going to have access to quickly get groceries to, to create a healthy meal for themselves and their family? That's something when I'm coaching my clients, we have to discuss. You know, I also ask my clients about their environment. Do they live alone? Do they have pets? But also, just in conversation, where do you live? Do you live in an urban area? Do you live in a suburban area? That's important information to know because if you need to go outside and walk or jog for some type of physical activity, do you have options? Do you have a safe environment that you can walk in and you feel comfortable walking in and getting some physical activity in? Um, are you in a neighborhood that has sidewalks? Ironically, there are a lot of neighborhoods that don't have sidewalks nowadays. So a lot of pedestrians don't have an opportunity to walk down the street or get some fresh air in the evening after they've had dinner. Um, then you have elderly people who they may have a neighborhood that has sidewalks, but it might be an old neighborhood. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody's joining. But it might be an old neighborhood where the sidewalks have cracks and holes. And if you have elderly people that have issues with joints, well, that's not something they, somewhere where they want to walk necessarily. Um, so, again, teaching an individual, what can we do to help you create a healthy lifestyle plan where you are and in your environment? So again, under, helping them to understand their environment and what they have access to. Um, I love working with uh, people that actually work in communities where they might have a community group that has um, a little, little group that they get together with and they go walking with on certain days. You know, I definitely encourage group fitness and encouraging my clients to be fit with a group. You know, if you if you have a community organization where you guys walk on certain days, that's awesome because there's security in groups. Um, you have people that help you stay accountable and it, it kind of forces you to get out and you can talk to people as you're walking or as you're working out. Um, I also encourage my clients if they don't know about their healthy food access to find out. Yes, you might know where the grocery stores are, but do you know where the farmers markets are? You know, farmers markets might come only on Saturday, but they might be closer on Saturday mornings than the grocery store. I also like to ask my clients, what days do you like to go grocery shopping? That's important to know. Um, what is your lifestyle like? Do you work a lot? Do you have to travel a lot? Again, all of these things play into this idea of access. I know people that are road warriors. Trust me, been there myself, done that. I used to travel all the time for my job. So I, even in fitness, had to create a plan for myself, like, okay, when I get to this destination, I need to know what I'm going to eat. I need to call ahead to that hotel and find out, am I going to have a refrigerator in my room? Do I have a microwave? Are there grocery stores in the area? 
And I've been to some very rural areas um, working and traveling where there was no grocery store nearby. So I, I literally had to find out where the grocery store was near the airport, go ahead and get some groceries and take it to an hour's drive to my hotel or wherever I was going to be placed. Um, so the point is, in order to create a healthy lifestyle, you have to know the environment that you live in and understand what you have access to as far as your food, your nutrition, your physical activity resources. Um, and again, looking within your neighborhoods, finding out where the parks are, finding out any community groups that might walk together or work out together, recreational centers, um, understanding where the farmer's markets are, the grocery stores. And another thing that I like to say, when it comes to nutrition, um, one thing in public health, of course, we always talk about with access is food deserts. You know, areas, whether they're suburban areas or rural areas, where there aren't any places that actually have healthy food. There might be convenience stores that have a lot of sugary snacks or grocery stores, um, or I'm sorry, gas stations that have like a lot of sugary snacks, but not necessarily an actual whole food type grocery store that serves healthy food or organic food. Um, but luckily, there are a lot of farmers markets. And, and if you are wondering, you know, how do I access farmers markets? I don't even know if there's farmers markets in my area. I want to get to one. Just Google it. Go online, Google farmers markets in Georgia or whatever state you're in. And a lot of times I, I found a lot of um, different online organizations where you can find out which farmers markets are in your neighborhood. You know, my thing is buy local, support your own state or your own city or where you live, especially the farmers. Um, so again, just wanted to make this video about creating a healthy lifestyle, but first looking at your access and what you have access to as far as your resources when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to physical activity. And of course, I think that's super important. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, always love talking about public health and I, I think it's so vital that as a fitness profession I bring my public health background to my clients because that's just as important for them to be able to apply their fitness lifestyle within their community and within the environment that they live in all right so it was great talking to you all and you know hit me back I know this is Periscope feel free to chat but I'm sure I'll be posting this soon on my website so definitely let me know what you think about do you have access to a healthy lifestyle? Do you have access to nutrition? Do you have access to physical activity? And if so, share that with us. And if you don't have access, but you were able to figure out a way to create a healthy lifestyle anyway, share that with us as well. All right, guys. Bye. Talk to you later.